Hi, my name is Eric Keller, and in this video tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate some of the features of the Molecular Maya Toolkit. So, the Molecular Maya Toolkit is a free plugin which is available for Maya version 2009 and later. I'm demonstrating it in Maya 2011 right here. And uh, the purpose of this plugin is to allow you to easily import molecular structures into Maya so that you can render and animate them and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, uh, scientific visualization, especially when it comes to you know the life sciences such as molecular biology and cell biology, uh, is becoming um, increasingly infiltrated by uh, 3D animation. So scientists are starting to use uh, tools such as Maya now to create animation to demonstrate uh, some of the principles of their research. Uh, and also um, in, in the entertainment industry for TV shows like Fringe and House and uh, a lot of the uh, forensic science uh, mystery shows that are on TV, uh, the science is becoming more sophisticated, uh, so you're seeing more molecular structures being displayed as part of the plot line in some of these shows. So even if you're not doing scientific visualization and you're working in the entertainment industry, you might run into a situation where you need to actually start working with molecular data uh, inside of Maya. And what molecular data refers to is uh, it's essentially a uh, 3D uh, model based on the crystallography data of a particular molecular or protein structure. In other words, scientists are using uh, X-ray crystallography to solve the three-dimensional structure of a protein and then displaying this in three-dimensional software. Uh, for a long time, there's been software such as Chimera and PyMall and other pieces of software that do a fine job of displaying the 3D structure. In fact, you can even get... Uh, uh, apps for your iPhone that display the uh, 3D structure of, uh, of proteins. Uh, however, none of them have the uh, animation uh, capabilities of software uh, like Maya. And Maya has become increasingly the industry standard even in the scientific visualization world. Um, so Molecular Maya is a free plugin that was designed to make working with molecular data in Maya much easier. And it's designed to be very easy to work with so that a scientist who's not necessarily an expert in Maya can get uh, their you know protein data into Maya fairly quickly and even render it without having to uh, mess too much with some of the inner workings of Maya. And at the same time, uh, for uh, animators who are not necessarily... Uh, molecular biologists, people like me who don't have a formal science background, uh, molecular Maya is easy enough to use um, so that you can quickly get the data into Maya and not have to do a whole lot of extra research outside of what uh, you already know about Maya. And uh, in this video demo, I'm just going to go over the overview of some of the features and plus I'm going to point you uh, to, to places on the internet where you can find out more information about both the plugin and about uh, protein structures in 3D animation software in general, uh, specifically with regards to uh, the PDB or protein data bank file format. Um, so Molecular Maya was created by Gail McGill and um, he is a, both a Maya animator and a PhD molecular biologist. Um, and he even teaches a class in Maya over at uh, Harvard Medical School. Um, he designed the uh, plugin itself, and then the, the programming was created by uh, Campbell Strong, who is also a uh, Maya animator uh, with a strong science background. And uh, I've used it in many of my animations, and uh, it makes things so much easier. In the old days, we used to have to use custom scripts like PDB Reader, or we'd have to import and export models from software such as Chimera. And uh, it got to be a very bulky and tedious process. So what Molecular Maya does is it cuts out a lot of the extra work that you have to do and adds additional features that makes uh, working with the data once you get it into Maya uh, very easy.